हेलो एवरी वन माय सेल्फ प्रोफेसर तुषार गुजराती फ्रॉम एस एन डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड रिसर्च सेंटर येवला टुडे वील स्टडी द टॉपिक बेस्ड ऑन मैकेट्रॉनिक सब्जेक्ट एंड विच इज़ वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट वन द टाइप्स ऑफ सेंसर्स सो सेंसर्स आर वेरी यूजफुल फॉर सेंसिंग सम पैरामीटर्स एंड कन्वर्टिंग दैट पैरामीटर इन टू सम यूजफुल फॉर्म सो फॉर मेजरमेंट ऑफ डिफरेंट पैरामीटर्स वील रिक्वायर डिफरेंट सेंसर्स ओके so depending upon the application the different sensors are used so for that purpose we should understand first of all what is sensor what are its classifications what are the uses of different sensors okay so we'll study now today basics of sensors that is types of sensors so what is sensor first of all question is what is sensor a sensor is defined as a device or a module that help to detect any changes in a physical quantity like pressure force or electrical quantity like current or any other form of energy okay so we can detect any type of quantity or any parameter like pressure force or any electrical quantity also like current or any other form of energy so that can be detected with help of sensor and after observing the changes sensor sends the detected input to a microcontroller or microprocessor okay this is also very important so if you see there are some changes are there if you detect the changes that then that changes also given to some device for particular action so the detected input to a microcontroller or microprocessor so microprocessor or microcontroller will then take action if they want to take okay so like this the sensor is required finally a sensor produces a readable output signal which can either be optical electrical or any other form of signal that corresponds to change in input signal okay so the output of sensor may be optical electrical or any other form of signal but that is related to input signal okay so whatever input is given to that signal or sensor the output may be in the form of voltage current or some optical form okay so in any measurement system sensors play a major role in fact sensor are the first element in the block diagram of measurement system which comes in direct contact with the variables to produce a valid output okay so the sensor is very important block in the measurement system okay so in any plant in any machinery where automation is there so very first element is sensor because sensor senses different parameters okay and because of that parameters we can take the action in the automation plant okay that's why we need sensor in every industry in every automated plant or in any automation okay so classification of sensors so sensors are classified in active and passive types so what is active sensors active sensors are the type of sensors that produce output signal with the help of external excitation supply so these are the sensors which requires external power supply for their operation so this is the important thing here external excitation supply the sensors which require external power supply those are called as active sensors the own physical properties of the sensor varies with, with respect to the applied external effect therefore it is also called as self generating sensors so here examples are given elevability and strain gauges so these are the types of active sensors passive sensors passive sensors are the type of sensor that produce output signal without the help of external excitation supply they do not need any extra stimulus or voltage okay so they do not need any extra voltage or anything they develop their energy their own thermocouple which generates a voltage value corresponding to the heat applied it does not require any external power supply okay for its working so that's why the thermocouple is called as passive sensor because it do not require external power supply as temperature changes it produces voltage so that's why thermocouple is passive sensor okay so have you understood the difference between active and passive so active sensors require external power supply but passive does not require external power supply okay again one more classification is there analog sensors the sensor that produces continuous signal with respect to time with analog output it's called as analog sensor 
so here output is in the form of analog output okay that's why it is called as analog sensor the analog output generated is proportional to the measured or input given to the system so so the analog output which is generated is proportional to the input given to the system okay so output is related to input and the range of output is 0 to 5 volts or current produced as the output current or voltage anything may get produced the various physical parameters like temperature stress pressure displacement etc are examples of continuous signal which are in the form of analog form okay so these continuous signals can be converted into analog output so examples are written here accelerometers speed sensors pressure sensor light sensor temperature sensor these are all analog sensors okay so which measures different parameters applications of analog sensors to detect hidden tracks discontinuities in metals composites plastic ceramics and for water level detection so these are all applications of analog sensor okay we can detect discontinuities in metal composite plastic ceramic okay different materials we can detect water level also hidden tracks also so these are all applications of analog sensors now what is di digital sensor so when data is converted and transmitted digitally it is called as digital sensors so output is in the form of digital sensor so digital sensors are the one which produces discrete output signals so discrete signals will be non continuous with time and it can be represented in bits for series transmission and bytes for parallel transmission so the output is in the form of discrete non continuous form in the form of bits and bytes bits is used for serial transmission and bytes is used for parallel transmission the measuring quantity will be represented in digital form so measuring quantity is in digital form so digital form means in the form of binary number 0 1 0 1 so like this it is called as binary number that is logic 1 and logic 0 on or off okay so a digital sensor consists of sensor cable and transmitter the measured signal is converted into digital signal inside sensor itself without any external component and cable is used for long distance transmission okay for long distance we need cable and the conversion is done inside the sensor only okay so like example is shown here light sensor digital accelerometer digital different temperature sensor encoders so these are all devices which converts the signal into digital form okay applications of digital sensors are detection of leaks in gas pipes and cables using pressure sensor pressure monitoring in tires monitoring air flow measuring level inhalers in medical device so so these are some devices so suppose pressure we want to monitor in tires so that pressure we have to give to some computer device okay so that tire pressure can be monitored on monitored in computer also okay that's why we need digital signal computer needs digital signal okay that's why the pressure monitoring in tires is done with the help of digital sensors so when we want to monitor with the help of some computer we need digital signals okay that's why we go for digital sensors which gives a, gives us output in digital form so here i have shown one figure or diagram which consists of different types of sensors so you check here one by one names are given different thermistors for temperature measurement then ir sensor infrared sensors are there there are two types transmittive type reflective type ultrasonic sensors are there gyroscopic sensor accelerometer sensor for measurement of acceleration rain sensor soil moisture sensor photo transistor for light measurement water flow rate measurement sensor heartbeat sensor alcohol sensors are available now color sensor pir sensor gas sensor smoke sensor temperature sensors infrared receivers ldr light sensors humidity flex sensor touch sensor solar cell light sensor metal detector real time clock sensor vibration sensor so like this there are many sensors are developed nowadays for measurement of different parameters we need different sensors okay now we'll see real time applications of sensor so this is one of the type that is radiation thermometers 
so it works due to presence of ir sensor infrared sensor the temperature of an object is measured with radiation thermometers okay so you might have seen this many places so these thermometers gives us temperature without touching any object okay so we use here radiation infrared rays are used here and the temperature is measured here okay this is one of type of application then now this is ir imaging devices this ir sensors are used to image objects they are used in thermography cameras which are used as a non invasive imaging technique okay we see here thermal effects on the screen of particular objects okay with the help of ir sensors so th th these are called as thermographic cameras ir tv remote so in the tv remotes also infrared are used so these days ir based tv remotes are used at home and theaters they are infrared lights as a source for communication so infrared lights are used here tv remote consists of buttons and pcbs pcb consists of electrical circuit which is used to sense or detect the button that is pressed okay so with the help of pcb we can control the action by tv remotes okay now inside a car inside a car also many sensors are placed for example steering sensor in a vehicle steering sensors are very crucial they measure the rotational angle of steering wheel and further help for navigation these sensors play a role for electronic command steering and electric power steering so for electric power steering we need the angle of rotation by how many how much angle the steering wheel is rotated so that angle is very important so that angle is sensed and according to that action is taken for the navigation purpose okay inside smartphone you are using smartphones so that smartphone have many applications you just remind yourself what are the sensors in your mobile or in your smartphone so here names are given like fingerprint sensor all of you know fingerprint sensor magnetometer gyroscope is there accelerometer is available proximity sensor heart rate monitor light sensor and many more so like this many sensors are used nowadays in smartphone and that's why it is called as smart okay because of such a different sensors so thank you so much all of you for watching this video so in this video we studied sensor what is sensor what are its types and what are the real time applications of such a sensors okay so thank you so much all of you for watching this video